Take 74 as we try and explain the first test that we're going to be carrying out here on a simple plastic conduit exercise we've put together with either one way switch controlling a lighting point. And the first test we're going to carry out is. Continuity of CPC. Good. And which test will we include at the same time? Polarity. We are. And of all the readings you get, which one will we record? The highest. And where would you expect it to be in this circuit? Uh, in these pins here. Okay. At which point in circuit is that? The furthest. However, which reading are we going to record? The highest. Wherever we get it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so let's set up for our continuity test. I see you're using the QTEC adapter, so let's get set up for that. Got some definitely pause moments there, so let's go and connect it in. So we're reversing our lead round, are we? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. The reason being the throw's longer on the other end and it reaches the QTEC adapter, a little trick that I got taught the other week. Which scale are you setting your instrument to? Ohms. Okay, we're setting it to the ohm scale. And what are you doing now? Zero in our lead. Okay, I'll help by pressing those certain. Is that in the right position? There we go. Okay, so we've zeroed out our QTEC adapter. We're going to the furthest point in the lighting circuit, and um, which uh, reading are we going to record? The highest. Okay, and it's measured in which SI unit? Ohms. Okay, let's have a look what we've got then. We need to switch it around because okay. we're not getting a read in. Okay, so we're into the pin. Would you like to switch the light on? Okay, so okay. nothing. We need to switch so we're it. Probably won the right one, yeah. and you ain't got the switch in the right position. So let's try again. Okay, is the circuit currently on or off? On. On. And what would you like me to do? Switch it off. Why do you want me to operate the switch? So we can test for polarity. Okay, so what's happened now to the circuit? It's turned off. And what would you like me to do now? Turn it back on. Which position must we leave the switches in? On, uh, on for oh. insulation resistance. Okay, good. Is that the continuity of CPC test finished? Nope. Where are we going to next? Down to this switch. Okay. So what are we going to do next? We're going to zero out the leads again. Okay, I'll take that QTEC adapter out of the way for you. Yeah, good stuff. Press the test button again for it. It's flashing, does that mean it's zero then? Below zero. Okay, let's go again. We've got a read in, and now we're at zero. Okay. So we're gonna go not onto the earth terminals, we can, but we're gonna go onto the exposed conductor. Okay, so you're going onto the back metal back box there. Yeah. Okay, and we've got a nice good connection. Okay, so I don't want to say are you in the right hole because I don't want all the laughter. So are you in the right hole? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You operate that switch. Always gone to bits. Okay, yeah, well, I got this is the, this bit I like because they, they think it's easy and now all of a sudden it's not quite as easy as we thought. So looking at our instrument again, you still haven't got a connection. We have now. Okay, finally, we've got a, no, we're off again. Have you got a really nice clear piece of paint removed at the back of that switch? Because I don't think you have. A little scratch around. There we go. Okay, so we've got a reading of about 0.2 of an ohm. Yeah. Okay, and that's on the metal back box. Where are you going to go to next? The front of the switch. Okay. We're going to go. What type of conductive part is that? Exposed. Okay, so but we're going to go to the engraving part. Okay. And we've got a reading of 0.12. Where was the highest reading? Uh, down by the switch. If the highest reading was down here. Yeah. Sure, it wasn't up there. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Okay, and of all the rings you get, the highest one's going to be recorded. What yeah. other tests are carried out at the same time? Polarity. And what did you put in the polarity box? A tick. Okay, and which test is carried out next? Uh, insulation resistance. Uh, insulation resistance? Insulation resistance. Okay, in order to do the insulation resistance test, what we got to do? Uh, pull the covers on and leave the switches on. Okay, let's get ready for that then. Well done. So we've completed our continuity of CPC and polarity test, and now we're moving on to do which test? Insulation resistance. Okay, and we set our instrument up to what for insulation resistance? Uh, 500 volts. Is that AC or DC? DC. And what scale? are you setting it to? Uh, mega ohms. And what does mega stand for? Million. And what's the smallest acceptable value of insulation resistance according to BS7671? Uh, one mega ohm. And we suggest that further investigations be required when it falls to what? Below two mega ohms. Okay, good. Let's get set up and ready to carry out that test then. What are you doing first? I'm zeroing out the leads to make sure they're not damaged at all. Okay, so what are we expecting to get when we press and hold the test button now? That they're not shorted. Yeah, shorted together. Okay, so yeah, you've shorted the leads together and we got zero there. Yep. Are we expecting to get zero when we carry out the insulation resistance uh, test? No, we're expecting to get plus 999. Okay, and that's the highest reading the yeah. machine will read. Okay, let's go on and carry out the testing. 
looking at the circuit, is there anything that we were concerned about in circuit that we must ensure is not in circuit or turned off? You need to make sure the RCCB is turned off. Okay, what's that got inside it that could be damaged during this test? The electrical com uh, electrical components. Electrical or electronic? Ele electronic we components. We always struggle with that yeah. one, don't we? Yeah, okay, so let's see if we can clip these on without dropping on the floor. So you're connected on first of all to? The earth bar. Okay, and then you're gonna go on to? Line. Okay, and which is on top of the breaker. Okay, let's see what we get then. You've pressed and held and your reading is? Plus 999. Okay, good. What are you going to do next? Uh, neutral. Okay, let's have a look. So press and hold, what are we going to get? What's the reading? Plus 999. Okay, and then finally you're going to test? Uh, neutral to earth. Neutral to earth, or is that correct? I thought we'd just done neutral to earth. Uh, line to neutral, sorry. Okay, line to neutral. Amazing, because if I'd have done that, I'd have had to do a retake. So let's see if we can get it on. Oh, the pressure's on. Be very careful. Press and hold, what reading are you expecting again? 999 plus. Okay, we carried out the insulation resistance test, what do we believe we can do now? What's the next stage? Go live. We're gonna go live, okay, so let's go live with our next stage, well done. So I've now got rid of that old dude, and I'm gonna recheck polarity on my system by functioning the switch off and on. And then I'm gonna make sure the RCCB test button is functional by pressing that, which should be t uh, pressed every three months by the customer. I'm now going to check my uh, circuit breaker is functional, which it is. 